Get that cappuccino down you. Is it a cappuccino? No, espresso. But I'll forgive yeah. you because you don't drink hot drinks, so you wouldn't know. Give you a hit of caffeine. I need one. Been busy Prentice. today, haven't you? Bloody printers. <laughs> it's always printers. Mm. Printers or DNS. One of those two. Printers. I find, I find DNS pretty reliable, actually, when people say it's always a DNS. Yeah, the most hated part of IT is printers. Yeah, without a doubt. Cut it out. Anyone who says otherwise doesn't know, doesn't know what they're talking about. Yeah, and then they might throw a scanner on top as well just to really mm. annoy you. Yep, definitely right up there as well, scanners, and then people. <laughs> so, uh, this month, Carl, we, we welcomed a new client to give the IT family a pharmacy business with stores dotted around the UK. Yeah. That you've been you've been uh, dealing with and helping them have a smooth transition for September. They go live dates not until September because I think it's fair to say their current IT systems aren't in the greatest of shape and you're trying to find out where all the the data is, what what programs they're using, all that kind of stuff. So it's a nice smooth transition. Yeah, that's right. I mean, what they might, what you might class as the discovery phase. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm digging. And if this was an architectural dig, I'm finding lots of fossils. It's uh, interesting what I'm finding. Yeah, it's going on longer. We're definitely, if, we, if it was an archaeological dig, we we're definitely putting HS2 behind its uh, schedule. Yeah. On this one. Yeah. Unfortunately, you catch one of these now and again where there's a lot of stuff that needs sorting out. You know, computers that are date, no updates, more well, applications than someone thinks. Shadow IT, they call that now. The good thing is now that they are, however, uh, contacted us, so they wanted to get their IT better. Yeah. Recognising they've got a problem there and they need to get it sorted. So uh, that's good news. Yeah. Um, I went up to Scotland this month, you know, uh, last month, because this is actually the talking about the previous month i always get that confused talking about what happened in june but at the end of june i went up to scotland to see zap shelter and record client story which i think will probably be released the first one in august yeah yeah i've not been able to do my i i, I typically do the rough edit first so i can build the story and then send it off to the pros to make it uh, look amazing but it's been uh, pretty busy to be fair for us the last uh, two weeks and i've not had much time to put into that one as much yeah, well, as anyway yeah, it's not easy, is it? School holidays too. It's always yeah, school holidays, and then we've got our own holidays coming up as well. Yep. So we'll, we'll get a bit uh, difficult. Fingers stuff. Crossed the flights still exist. Well, I'm hoping my flight gets cancelled. <laughs> you don't want to go. <laughs> well, I've had, as you know, I've had to cancel one of the holidays because of visa issues. Yeah. But I'm flying with British Airways, and if I if I apply if I cancel the flight with British Airways, yeah. they'll give me they won't give me my money back. They'll give me a voucher for a future flight. Yeah, I don't really want to fly with them anyway now. Uh, but so, but if they can't, but if they cancel the flight, then I get a full refund. Okay. So I've got a couple of weeks. I'm just holding out now, hoping, fingers crossed, because it was a flight that was going from Heathrow, and I know they've started cancelling flights in Heathrow. That it becomes one that gets cancelled, and that way I'll get a refund rather than a bloody voucher. Well, we will see. I think that's that should be so illegal not being not giving not giving your money back in. Uh, in a cash form, when you decide you want to cancel something, they they are, they would get away of giving it as a, a a voucher instead. I had this once with Ryanair. They make it very easy for you to take the voucher. They make it very difficult for you to pursue the cash. That the option is there, but you have to phone people, and it's very hard work. Yeah, I, I on their website, I can't find anything about getting a cash refund. Okay. I find everything about the voucher. I I tweeted them as well, and they said no, we don't do cash refunds. You have to get a voucher. It's like, I'm pretty certain I don't, but it's the hassle of having to go through all of that kind yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. You're probably legally right, but the amount of effort they make you go through, you give in. Yeah, there's no other companies that I know that are this bad at giving refunds compared to airline companies just are miles, miles ahead of everyone else and making it difficult. My prediction with most of these airlines is this is a cash flow issue. If they don't cancel these flights, they're out of business. They're canceling these flights in order to keep the money that people have paid for the flights to use as cash flow for the business because yep. they're going under otherwise. Well, it's just like the uh, gas companies um, that you're, you're essentially loaning the money. It's the reason they make it difficult to get the money back. Yeah, yeah, it's the same with airlines, isn't it? But there you go. So, yes, I guess that makes it uh, a relatively quiet month for us. New podcast episodes. We did three new podcast episodes. The first one was about Chromebooks being ideal for some employees, which they are. They are. And, in fact, they could be great for the company that we're onboarding based on what they do. But, but that might be a jump too far at the moment, at the start. Yeah, yeah. A bridge too far. A bridge too far right now, yeah. We, got a, we, we had a little podcast about our six months ownership of EV, and that was yep. kind of based around my trip to Scotland. And the I th was that before we did Scotland, or was it after when we recorded that podcast? I can't remember, but I think it might have been before, actually. 
Yeah, I think it was before. So I didn't get to talk about my uh, poor experience of uh, chargers, but I have got a founder's log video that I'm also working on, a vlog that I've done of my trip to Scotland and back, which goes through all that. That should go live at some point in the next month or so. I've got quite a few videos working we're working on. Yeah. Um, the final podcast for June was Cloud Desktops for Legacy Apps, which, funny enough, you you went to somewhere earlier today where they the the the, the company that they buy this software off had to come in to install a new server to run uh, run the software off it, and that stuff can easily be converted to a cloud desktop and run off a cloud desktop, but this 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 company that provides it has no competition so they just refuse to do anything like that and yeah. insist on having uh servers and all that nonsense installed and they're not even servers it's a pc and this yeah. is the thing yeah yeah with the windows firewall turned off i'm not having any of that james i'm not having that i'll do i'll work out what ports are needed i'm not having any of that terrible we've got a you tell it's a busy month because we only did two new videos on our youtube channel yeah uh, we're normally doing four or five so the first one was how to enable offline mode in Gmail, Calendar, and Drive. Handy because we've got quite a lot of subscribers who are going away on holiday now or just traveling, and they need to be able to uh, use their stuff while they're like on poor internet connections, trains and planes and hotels. Yeah. Then I did one which I'm using at the moment is my little trick on how to make it look like I'm looking at you down the camera in Google Meet. It's a handy video. Uh, it's a handy video if you want to uh, get eye to eye contact in a video call using Google yeah. Meet. There's a little little secret thing you can do there. So go check it out on the YouTube channel. And then finally, our assistance and support statistics for June. So uh, in June, seventy four subscribers got in contact. Out of those getting in touch, sixty were requesting ex- experience, requesting assistance. Even they wanted to know how to do something better. The remaining fourteen asked for support where something is not working as it should. Out of those people that are in contact, 62.2%, which is 48 of subscribers, who sent a message, received a response, and returned to their work within under five, in under five minutes. 27 received a reply and returned to their work within 30 minutes. There's only one support case this time, which took over 30 minutes, but less than an hour to complete. So, uh, pretty good. Kind of decent. We went down a bit on the amount of people contacting us through our unique instant messaging service. It was 93.2% in June. Three subscribers opted to log an old-fashioned email ticket. One used the phone to get in contact, and one used WhatsApp, which is very risky because their message could be missed if they use WhatsApp to get in contact. Yep, that's right. I I know who the subscriber is, and their message did get missed for a while artificially because that's not the right way to get in contact, so I didn't reply. And I took it to Google Chat and got them to uh, use that instead. Yeah. Correct way of doing it. And out of everyone who got in contact, there's 11 subscribers that we think would not need to contact us if they'd had regular training on how to use Google Workspace and other services in their office or working from home or business. Yes. Always the way. Indeed. It's always always around about that number as well. It's never never more than about, it's always less than 20 subscribers who, if they'd had, if they had been, if they had had training, they wouldn't have got in contact. Yeah, yeah, probably something like that, isn't it? Yeah, it's always around about that share. But that's basically the, uh, that is the founder's log for the, um, for June. So uh, we'll be back in a, well, not much time because this video is already halfway through the month before we're releasing it. But we'll be back in about another 15 days for uh, next month's founder's log. Yes, indeed. (laughs) So uh, we will speak to you soon. And thanks for uh, watching this video. Yep, see you next time.